Welcome to the wonderful world of visible light. And I'm your host and your key color, black. And I'm your co-host, white. On today's show, we will be talking about additive and subtractive color systems. Doesn't that sound fun? Not really. Shh. We have to fake enthusiasm. Yay. So first we will be talking about additive color systems. And you can follow along on the sheets that we were given at the start. No, 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 not that one. The other one. Yeah, 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 that one. Additive color systems, they all start out with a black background. Get to the back. All right. Oh, that looked like it hurt. A little bit. Quiet, we're on soon. Now that we have our black background, we can now start adding our colors. As carefully as possible, please. So, you start with some red. When added with blue. Makes magenta. And when you take your blue. And then add some green. You can create cyan. And green. With red. Makes some yellow. When you add your red, green, and blue in equal proportions, you can create the most lovely shade of white. It's important to note that you can also play around the mountain color that you use to create different shades of colors. So that concludes the additive section of this program. Next we move on to subtractive color systems. So that begins with a white background. Well, it most certainly does. The subtractive color system mirrors the additive color system, as you may have guessed. So now we start out with the magenta. Mixed with cyan. Creates blue. And cyan. Mixed with yellow. Results in green. And again, yellow. Mixed with the magenta. Generates red. And when you mix them all together in equal proportion, you get black. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Black? Yes, black. Don't you get gray when you mix them together? Well, technically, but for this sake, it's black, okay? Okay. Any questions? When would you use the additive color system? Good question. Generally, you use your additive color systems for things like your monitor. So, like how the screen on your computer is black before you start it. Precisely. Any other questions? When do you use subtractive colors? You would use your subtractive colors when you're dealing with printing it. So, like how you print on white paper? Yep. Good job. So, we hope you enjoyed today's show. Hey, isn't that my job? Not anymore, it isn't. They decided to replace you. No! No! Ugh, dreaming about school again. Well, it's not about paper this time. Oi.